Hello guys, welcome to the finale of my Ratchet and Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal Let's Play. The time has finally arrived to kick Dr. Nefarious' ass. Let's do it. Let's go kick Dr. Nefarious' ass, is what we wanted to do since the start of the game, since we met his hideous face. It's a shame it's about time we kick his ass though, because I actually like Dr. Nefarious, he's actually quite a funny character, so... I'm actually, honestly, I'm actually pretty gutted we have to take him out now, but... He is the main antagonist, and we have to stop him. Got rid of him, and you. Yeah, I actually can't believe the finale of my Ratchet and Clank episode is finally here. I mean, I remember when I recorded the first Ratchet and Clank episode a few months back. Yeah, when a friend of mine requested me to um, play the game on my channel, and... Yeah, I've honestly enjoyed every second of playing Ratchet and Clank on my channel. It's such a fun game series. And I've loved every single second of Ratchet and Clank 3. We all know how much I love this game. This Ratchet, and, this Ratchet and Clank game is easily my favorite Ratchet and Clank game. It's also in my top 10 favorite games of all time because it's such a good game. I love everything about this game. I'm literally using this sniper rifle as a rifle. Got more nanotech and let's head up here. Ah, Tyranoids. You're going to need the Tyra guys up ahead. Security is airtight so it won't be easy. These robot Tyranoids are smarter than they used to be. I figured. They're not smart enough for me though. Where is my tour guys? Hi friend. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Okay, what is Ratchet gonna come up with? Let's see if we can outsmart these guys. I like to think we can outsmart them. There is a fire drill. I need you to activate that elevator immediately. That proceeds to the nearest swimming pool and throw yourself in. <laughs> Hmm, how do I know that I trust you? Are you you are a squishy after all? No, I'm no squishy. I'm actually I may be a squishy, but I work for you guys. I'm still a tyranoid. Could one tyranoid lie to another? If only his lips were moving. Okay, smartass. You'll get you'll get what's coming to you. Ah, oh, an image of noxious. Ah, oh, how can I read the start of that? Okay, this guy may have outsmarted me once, but not again. That guy outsmarted me, son of a bitch. I'm not sure I like your tone, I must report your behaviour to the authorities if you do not let me pass. Through bow, still standing in five seconds. Oh, okay. Cool, this guy's got balls. This tornoid has got some balls. Alright then, guess I'll have to report you to the authorities. Alright, no need to get violent, I'll just phone up Dr. Ferris and let him know you won't be getting his massage today. I'm terrified of holding you back, sir. You better be. Okay, let's head, let's head over here, though. I think there's a bolt here. Yes, there is. I knew there was a bolt here. I got a titanium bolt. I knew there was a bolt there. Thank you, my friend. We outsmarted him. Well, we failed to outsmart him once. Yeah, we still outsmarted that guy. Let's head up here and let's go get... Oh, another Tyranoid. Luckily, I saw it coming. Hey, friend. Let's have a conversation. You smell like a Lombax's backside. Traitor! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Lawrence doesn't like the colour of this force shield. He says he clashes with his trousers and he wants to deactivate them immediately. <laughs> I don't think Lawrence would care about that, to be honest. Well... Lawrence is a funny guy, after all. He's not exactly smart. That's a good one. That Lombax must be incredibly brave. Oh, incredibly stupid. Is that some kind of Halloween costume you're wearing? Oi, watch it, buddy. Ah! Right, buddy, watch your tone. Calling me a Halloween costume? I just want to kick Dr. Nefaris' ass already. Ah, look, if you let me through, I'll oh, leave you my Android's Gone Wild holovid disc. If you want it that badly. Director's Cut. Yeah, I'll give you a Director's Cut. If you want it. If you don't let me through in a minute, I won't give it to you. Of course, you won't believe what those slimy codes do when their cameras are rolling. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> that is cheeky. Boom. That's it. You just got mugged right off. By a Lombax. Okay, here we've got loads of coming. When I first played this game, this part had me dying quite a bit. I'm not going to bother upgrading any weapons. I've got all the weapons I need upgraded now, ready for the final battle. 
got now. So I'm going to have to use the multi-disc gun here. I got that upgraded in the last episode as well as the Annihilator. Finally got those upgraded. Let's get my... Oh, uh, where is it? Warp pad? Nope. Uh, where is it? Well, can we just stand here and activate it like that? Yeah, we can. Right then. I'll do it that way. Yeah, in Ratchet Clank 1 you would have to get the quick select out. Well, the weapon wheel out and select this um, gadget to use that. But luckily in Ratchet Clank 3 you don't have to do that. Just stand as close as you can to it and activate it like that. It's actually quite handy. Actually, I actually prefer that option to be honest. Turn around from here. And uh, guys, before, before I mention anything, this is the last Ratchet and well, Clank video on my channel for a little while. Yeah, I've played through the main Ratchet and Clank collection and yeah, I thought it would be nice to play a different game after this because I've played through three Ratchet and Clank games. I thought it would be nice to take a little break from the series for a little while. I might play some other Ratchet and Clank games on my channel in the future like Tools of Destruction, A Crack in Time, Quest for Booty and also the Ratchet and Clank group reboot on PS4. I'd love to play that on my channel at some point because I love the PS4 reboot. Okay, see if the turrets, tur turrets aren't even doing anything. God damn it. Right, see if I can... I think that might do it. Is he dead? No, he's not. Oh, he's actually still alive. Alright, fine. Can I get on top of that? Nope, guess I'm going to have to do this the tricky way. Right, let's see him go on. No, they're not dead, really. Perhaps the... Hmm. How else am I going to take him out? Oh, the decimator. I should have guessed. I should have used that point. I've got some more nanotech. Nice. I'm five nanotech away from getting to 100. Can I get to 100 before I get to the Ferris? It's not likely, but I'll say like, oh, we got the hacker again. I don't mind these minigames, especially if you can play these minigames to Ratchet and Clank 1 and 2 with the Trespasser and... Yeah, those minigames from Ratchet and Clank 1. Yeah, I hated the Trespasser. This is literally a piece of cake compared to the Trespasser. Come on. This can get a bit um, tedious actually once. Um... This can get. This can. This does drag on a bit as well, especially when it's like four stage. I think four stages for this is a bit too long, to be honest. We're only on the second stage. We've got three, two more left after this one. Yeah, so I'm going to take a little break from the Ratchet and Clank games once I finish this game. I'll get, I'll play, I might play the other Ratchet and Clank games in the future on my channel. Yeah, I would like to anyway. But I think it'll be nice to have a little break from Ra the Ratchet and Clank games after I've played this game. Yeah, so we play Ratchet and Clank 1, 2 and 3. I thought, I think it'd be nice to have a little break. So I don't want to play Ratchet and Clank for so long on my channel. I think it'd be nice to mix things up a bit with some other games I've got. After I've played this game, i I'll finish this game, I'm going to be playing the Sly Cooper games on my channel. Sly Cooper, The Thievist Raccoon, Sly 2 Band of Thieves, Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves, and also Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. I'm also going to be playing Thieves in Time as well on the channel, because that game is... I actually like that game as well, it's so good. So I'm going to be playing Sly Cooper next on my channel. How can I miss Sly Cooper out? If I play Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, how can I miss Sly Cooper out? I'm also going to be playing another game on my channel besides Sly Cooper as well. I'm not going to tell you guys what game that is because I, I like to see that as a bit of a surprise. The game I'm playing is playing on my channel with Sly alongside Sly 1. I don't think I've ever mentioned it on the channel before. Yeah, I imagine you guys, it's quite a popular game, so I imagine you've probably heard of it, but I don't think I've ever mentioned that game in any of my videos before. I might have done once or twice, I don't actually remember ever mentioning it. That's the whole minigame complete. So I'm going to be playing another game alongside the Sly Cooper games. Well, Sly 1 anyway, maybe Sly 2, depending how long the Sly 1 Let's Play takes to complete. Yeah, I'm also going to be doing a 100% walkthrough on Sly 1 as well, because that's quite an easy game, 100%, so... I've been it 100% quite a few times. I'm going to be collect... When I play that, I'm going to be hoping to collect every single clue button and complete do a walkthrough on the game where we can get the Platinum Trophy. So yeah, that's my plan. And those things are making a really funny sound. Press square to attach the wrench to the bolt crank. So I'm actually looking forward to playing Sly Cube games and the other game I have planned on my channel to play beside it. I'm not going to tell you guys what the game is until I play it on my channel. So I'm going to finish the Ratchet and Clank 3 Let's Play, then I'm going to start the Sly Cube games and that other game next week. I'm going to start Sly 1 next week and I'm going to start the other game as well I've got planned. I won't tell you guys what that is, I'll leave that for you guys to find out next week. Because I don't think I've ever spoken about it on my channel before and I think it would be cool to leave it as a surprise. So at least you guys know what the next game series is going to be. 
dislike Cooper game, then we'll also go play another game beside it. And you'll guys see what that is next week. And we've got even more coming in. I need... Right, so I'm going to quickly get my PDA and get some more ammo. Okay, let's see what I can get. Okay. I've got some loads of bolts, wow. Uh, hmm. Let's get the like, a tough guy over there. Yeah, there's the Dubai Obliterator. Whoa, he, took, he just took his, he took his old teammate out. What an idiot. Yeah, I actually can't believe, I can't believe this Let's Play is coming to an end though, because I loved every second of playing the Ratchet Clank game. Special Ratchet Clank 3 and I've just died. Damn it. Okay, I'm back here with full nanotech. Let's do this. Let's get rid of all these arse wipes. My right, nanotech, 98, 98. I'm almost at 100. Can I get to 100 before the end of the game? Mm, I don't know. I think dying actually was actually quite handy, so I can increase my nanotech a bit more. And here we are. Let's go meet encounter Dobson the Ferris. I've been waiting for this since I met his face. Let's go get him. Ow, we're too late. There it is! Nefarious has already initiated the launch sequence. If that thing gets into space, Felden won't have a chance. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. We are gonna stop Nefarious from destroying Felden. So Chairman Drek learned the hard way in the first game and knocked Ferris also gonna learn the hard way and the missiles are looking onto me. Oh god look at all these missiles. Okay, Nefarious, you asked for it. Surprise, motherfucker! You again? You will pay for your insolence, you miserable rodent! You'll regret! Uh -oh. Sorry, Nefarious. Your flight's been cancelled. Ah! Lawrence! 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 How can I be of assistance? Annihilate him! Just kidding. You've reached my holographic voicemail. Leave your name and a brief message. Ta-ta! Ah, fine. I'll do it myself. That's right, Nefarious. Face me like a man. Time was right to kick Dr. Nefarious ass. And this, by the way, is my favourite boss battle in gaming history. I love this boss battle so much. It's actually my favourite boss battle. I mean, come on. Dr. Nefarious is my favourite gaming antagonist of all time. And being able to kick his ass is just... Oh, man, I love that feeling. It's also, it's also quite a tricky boss battle as well, and also a very entertaining one. This honestly has the best Dr. Nefarious cutscenes when he keeps shouting out for Lawrence, and the amount of times he has a go at Lawrence in this battle is actually quite funny, as you'll see later on in the game. Oh my god, I hate these things so much. Ah, I'm only on 9 nanotech. Oh my god, what a good start. I am defeated. I have no choice but to throw myself. On your mercy! Really? Uh, I mean, that's right, Nefarious. Your reign of terror is finally... SUCKER! <laughs> oh, Nefarious is awesome. Let's quickly get some nanotech over here, because I've only got nine nanotech. And there's some more nanotech there. Right, okay, let's get my PDA out quick and quickly get some more ammo. Right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's go get him. Dr. Ferris is just asking for trouble, and I'm using the wrong weapon on this guy. I need a stronger weapon. Decimator. Let's use that on this thing. I love the music that plays in this final boss. It's so boss. This is music is so boss battle music. I mean, just just listen to it. I love this boss battle music. I used it. I used this soundtrack in, in, for the end card in my last episode, Ratchet Clank episode before, yeah, when I ended it off. Okay, let's quickly get some nanotech over here. It's quite sad playing this boss battle at the same time, because it because when I'm playing this boss battle, we know the Ratchet Clank trilogy let's play is coming to an end and oh, I've loved every second of this let's play. Yeah, but at least we we saved the best part till last so whipping Dr. Nefarious' ass. Yeah, and he's still trying to kill me. Oh my god, where are the Galactic Rangers when I need them? This is the only time in the game where they could really come in handy. 
I've got some more now. Take 99. All right. Oh, no. I'm really going to need some. Right, okay, I'm going to need to get my PDA back out. And more ammo. Sweet. Can I get to 100 before the game ends? Oh, please. Get to 100 before the game ends. Come on. Kill this guy. Nice. Come on. I'm almost at 100. Can I get to 100 before the game ends? Oh, maybe I can. Maybe these enemies will do it. Come on. Blow up. That's it. He's gone, and let's get rid of this guy. I'm not getting rid of him. Oh, Galactic Rangers are here. Speaking of the devils, they're here. Don't worry, I've got these guys. I want my nanotech increased. Oh, so close! Oh, look how close that is. I might die yet against me. This is the hardest part of the boss battle. Need to get out of the way. Right, okay. Come on, Nefarious, you're mine. Oh, 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 this is so close. I need, oh, I know what I could use here. Where's my... Um, there we go. Mega tough guy. Let's get loads of these out. I'm so glad I didn't get to um, 100. Although I might do yet, depending if I... If Dr. Fair somehow kills me here. Let me use the perfect weapons here. The mega tough guy is so going to come in handy. I mean, the first boss battle in Ratchet and Clank 1 was pretty good. The final boss in Ratchet and Clank 1 was pretty good. The, honestly, the, the final boss in Ratchet and Clank 2 was pretty lame. It was honestly way too easy, in my opinion. But the Doctor Ferris boss battle, oh my god, it's so good. It's also very tricky, and yeah, oh, it has perfect Doctor Ferris moments. And honestly, it's how a final boss should be done. Honestly, I do prefer the boss ba this boss battle than the final boss with Errol and Jack 3 because, honestly, the, f the first half of the Jack 3 final boss was honestly a bit quite tedious when you had to take out the, um, the Dark Maker ship with Errol. Well, yeah, when he was spoiling the wasteland. And, but luckily, the second half of the boss battle was really good. But, yeah, but honestly, I didn't think the final boss in Jack 3 was nowhere near as good as this, in my opinion. So this for that, this is actually my favourite boss battle in gaming. I actually love this boss battle so much. And I've still got full nanotech. Wow, I'm nearly on 100. Look how close I am to 100. I'm so close, I can't believe it. I'm not going to bother killing myself here so I get to 100 nanotech. I'm just going to wait to stop the Nefarious and kill him here. I cannot let this ass wipe defeat me. I, I was thinking about getting enough bolts to get the... Um, that shield charger, but I don't, looks like I don't really need it. I'm quite surprised I've not actually taken any damage yet so far with doing this. So I remember when I first played this, I, 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 when I first played this on PS Vita, when I first unlocked the Nefarious Boss Battle, I died so many times. It took me all night to complete when I first played it. Now this is the tricky part when the Nefarious gets all these minions this to come and get you and we're going to need them. Let's get the PDA out because I need to get more ammo. And where's my... Uh, oh, it, wait got no hang on get the PDA back out max out for ammo really then how come I've got no oh whatever fine I'll use something else then I'll just use the display gun that's I don't know why my meetup bar is not fully upgraded come on die nefarious your reign of terror is finally on he's not going to get rid of all my nanotech before I kill him there's no chance there he goes This important, sir. It's almost time for my solo. Begin the transformation! I call it Base Odyssey. Now, Lawrence! Oh, if you insist. Look at it, I've got 100 nanotech, look at that! Yes! Got 100 nanotech at the last minute when I took out the Ferris. And look who's here to help me, Captain Quark. Oh, I sure have. Look at that, I was not expecting to get 100 nanotech, and I did. Haha, <laughs> when I whooped Dr. Nefarious' ass, now we just got to whoop his bio obliterator. 
well, a good thing. I love the music that plays when you take out the vibe there as well. It's, it's also the music for the end credits as well. It's, uh, it's actually quite good music. I actually love this music. I must get rid of this thing. Come on, Quark, start shooting at him. Captain Quark came to help me. I thought he, he retired, but no, he came back to help me at the last minute, which is very handy because Ratchet was nearly killed by Nefaris' missiles. Then the Quark came and saved the day, and I love it when Dr. Nefaris realised he was defeated. No! I don't believe it! <laughs> oh, so good. Believe it, Toaster Head! Oh, that's so good. I loved that. When I first saw that, I was like, no way Captain Quark's here! Oh my god, I'm really low on narrative though. Come on, last few missiles. Get rid of this ass wipe. Come on, missiles. Get rid of him. There we go. Bye bye, Nefarious. Ta da. Would you care to specify a destination, sir? Who cares? Just get us out of here. Uh, what? That wasn't even close to 60 seconds! Bye-bye. We're live from the star-studded premiere of the latest Hollow film in the Secret Agent Plank series. The atmosphere is positively electric as thousands of fanatical fans clamor for a glimpse of their favorite celebrities. Agent Clank, it seems your luck has finally run out. <laughs> the time has come to say goodbye. <laughs> your tricks won't do you any good this time, Agent Clank. I have been waiting for this moment a long time, and now I am going to blow you into a million pieces! <laughs> Get this thing off me! <laughs> Well, he got that monkey off his back. <laughs> Mwah. Do not even think about it. And that is the end of Ratchet and Clank 3. Oh, it's actually quite sad. I actually just love this game so much. My favourite Ratchet and Clank games come to an end. I got to 100 down tech at the last minute when I took out Nefaris. How lucky is that? Oh, man. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this Let's Play off here. Thank you all so much for watching my Ratchet Clank Let's Play and for all the support I've had throughout the Let's Play. It all means so, so much to me. Yeah, I, loved it. I loved all the support and new subscribers I got and the amount of likes some of my videos have. It's actually quite astounding. So I wasn't expecting many people, anyone to subscribe or like my Ratchet and Clank videos, but quite a few did. I'm actually ever so grateful for that. And, Harry Parent, if you're watching this, this Let's Play was for you, my friend, because you wanted me to play this game. Yeah, you recommended Ratchet Clank me play, and I decided to play the whole trilogy for you, my friend. This Let's Play is for you. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this Let's Play off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Gold X, and I'm going to enjoy this last cutscene of Doctor Nefarious. This is actually quite a funny cutscene. What do you mean we can't teleport to a planet? I'm afraid we're well out of range, sir. Perhaps if you had bothered to specify a destination... When will we be in range? Oh, I'm sure something will come along in, say, five or ten thousand years. Ah! I don't believe this! Now what? I don't suppose you can play drums. Ah!